Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today it's time to do my first ever Q&A. Now before you get started, I just want to say I wasn't able to answer every single question. I got about 50 questions in total, which was absolutely amazing, but I couldn't answer all of them because the video would have been like half an hour long. It doesn't mean I hate you if I haven't answered your question, it's simply a matter of I couldn't answer every single one. But let's get right into it. The first question I got, which I actually got more than once, was will you ever do a face reveal? The answer to that is simply yes, but I want to hit a certain landmark before I do this. Maybe 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, something really big before I reveal my face to everyone on the internet. But don't worry about it, I will be doing a face reveal one day. Next question comes from Shadow Penguin. And the question is, what direction do you think the video game genre is heading? I'm not too sure what this question exactly means. I think you're trying to say what a game's trying to be nowadays, or what's the sort of thing that everybody's trying to do, and without a doubt, that is open world experiences. So many games think that an open world is the answer to everything, but it's really not. There are plenty of linear games that absolutely excel, like Uncharted 4 or Doom, or games like that. If you put your game in an open world experience, it isn't guaranteed success, and I don't know why loads of developers think that is the answer. Next question comes from Balesy, and it is, do you want to develop YouTube as a full-time career? And then he asks, boxes or briefs. Well, do I want to make YouTube as a full-time career? I think that'd be a very good option for me. I wouldn't call it like a dream job or anything like that, but it'd definitely be a good thing to have. If I was making videos and getting paid for it, I wouldn't be complaining whatsoever. To answer the other question, it's just got to be boxers all day long. Moving on to another question we have, do you like Mass Effect and are you going to be getting Mass Effect Andromeda? Do I like Mass Effect? I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the series, I'm not gonna lie. I played a few of them a bit, but I've never completed a single Mass Effect game. I've played like, I'd say a quarter way through the first Mass Effect, the Mass Effect 2 I've played little bits here and there, and 3 I barely even touched. But I'm definitely going to be getting the new entry to the series, because it could without a doubt be Game of the Year 2016. Next question comes from Godless Cranium, and it is, what are your three favourite YouTubers, and what are some of your hobbies outside of YouTube? It is quite a tough choice, but I think my first one would have to be Boogie2988, I really love that guy, any content he makes, I watch, Robin Gaming, which is someone who a lot of you probably haven't heard of, he's got about 70,000 subscribers, but I've watched him since like day one, and I really love his videos, and the third one might have to be the true Geordie, I really love football, and he has the best football content on YouTube in my personal opinion. And as for some of my hobbies outside YouTube, I don't really have loads. Of course, gaming is a massive hobby of mine, playing football is a big one, I like reading as well, watching wrestling. I have a few ones, but I'm not like a massively active guy, I'm not gonna lie. Next, James Plays asks, did you own a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360? And which one did you prefer? Back in the day, without a doubt, I was an Xbox 360 guy. I absolutely loved that console. I still owned the PlayStation 3 at one point, but I didn't play it nowhere near as enough as my Xbox 360. Pixolution wants to know, if I could be one Overwatch hero, who would it be? Now that's a pretty hard question to ask, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it would be Reinhardt just because you're a massive guy and really strong, but I may go with Lucio. He can wall run, which is really cool. He's just got music playing all the time. He's just a really happy guy. He loves football. And I think in general, it'd be pretty fun to be Lucio. So yeah, my final answer is I'd like to be Lucio. Next, Control Alt Dan wants to know, do you think the Xbox One is becoming obsolete? Without a doubt, I think it is, yeah. In fact, I think it's turning away from being a gaming console and it's more of an entertainment console, with them always pushing TV in our faces and Xbox exclusives almost being non-existent nowadays because they're all on Windows 10. But yeah, I think it is becoming obsolete very quickly and that's a massive shame because as I said before, I really like the Xbox 360 and I love Microsoft for what they do. Moving on to the next question is, are you getting Zelda Breath of the Wild? Of course, I really do want to play this game because it's got 10 out of 10s almost everywhere I've looked, but I'm not going to buy a Nintendo Switch just to play that one game. I think that is persistent on a lot of Nintendo consoles, that they don't have like a massive lineup of games, but they have one or two titles that you really want to buy. And I do want to play them as I've said, but I'm not going to spend like £300 on a game and a console just to play one game. It just seems stupid to me. The next question comes from Linksity, I think I've pronounced that right, and it is, do you think Call of Duty is dying? A 
and then he mentions how some Call of Duty YouTubers views are going down quite a lot and I think there's a big reason why they're going down is because Call of Duty is dying. I think since Call of Duty Ghosts the series has been going downhill in general. I loved it back in the day, my favourite one was Modern Warfare 2, I played that for so, so many hours but it's just going downhill, I think it'd be stupid to say that it's not. In terms of Call of Duty YouTubers, not only are their views going down, a lot of them aren't even making COD videos anymore and are moving to stuff like vlogs or Overwatch, stuff like this, that get more views. Call of Duty has definitely had its day and I think it may be time for this series to die, go on a high and we'll remember it for what it once was. Obey wants to know, what made you start your YouTube channel? Honestly, if you're expecting like a story about how I was inspired by someone, that's not really what you're going to get. What happened was, one day in the summer holidays, I was sitting there, basically bored out of my head, was watching some YouTube and I was like, this can't be that hard to make, can it? I practiced editing videos and stuff like this and recording for about a week or something like that, and then I started uploading videos. It was simple as that. My passion for gaming is obviously a massive reason why I started, but I did just think it can't be that hard to make videos and put them on the internet. And finally, Dorito. 13 wants to know what is your favorite part about doing YouTube I'm not gonna lie it is sitting there on my real-time views watching views come in it may seem like a, a not not very glorified thing to do but I love sitting there after I've uploaded or if a video is doing really well watching views come in as they come in it makes me really satisfied to see exactly when people are watching my videos and just knowing that like 80 people an hour or 50 people an hour whatever it is are watching all of my videos is something that really brings fulfillment to me and makes me think and realize why I do YouTube. And to round up, I'd just like to say thank you to all your questions you guys submitted in my first Q&A. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.